behind these doors in Seattle's Ravenna neighborhood is a chocolate factory. Sure they were. They look and here, the details are everything. It's all about using only good beans. The bad beans, not properly fermented, are filtered out mechanically and by hand. You just learn what to expect from a bean. They feel different, they have different uh, textures and smells. This is Spinnaker Chocolate, a spot opened late last year by Kelly Van Arsdale and his brother, Chris. For them, making chocolate started as a hobby that soon turned into an obsession. Milk chocolate moves very quickly. So we just had this end goal, like how do we make the best chocolate possible? The Van Arsdales call what they do here bean to bar. We don't roast the whole bean, um, which a lot of other chocolate makers do. We just roast the nibs, which are sort of the meat of the bean. It'll pull the shells into this compartment, and then the nibs are heavier, and they'll drop down into a bucket. The Van Arsdales made this machine themselves, along with a few other gadgets in the factory. We build a lot of our own equipment. They don't make equipment for super small chocolate makers like us, so we definitely built a bunch of stuff that we needed. I love working with my hands. I've always been someone who's really tactile. Uh, I used to work in the tech industry. I used to sit behind a computer, and I, for lack of a better word, I hated it. So I left and started doing something with my hands. And those hands are helping produce great chocolate, more than 12 different varieties. So we have stuff from Belize, Madagascar, Trinidad, Colombia, Uganda. And some have inclusions like nibs themselves, bee pollen and sea salt. But the most popular is infused with bourbon. And then we make a, a bourbon bar where we soak our nibs, in, our roasted nibs, we soak them in bourbon for 24 hours. And then we make chocolate from there and it's fascinating. It tastes like you just had a little sip of bourbon while you're eating your chocolate. If tasting the chocolate isn't enough to satisfy your curiosity, Spinnaker offers tours, a behind the scenes look at how they go from bean to bar, a treat for the taste buds and a feast for the eyes.